Hey there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now I'm a bit of a fan of Chrome OS. I've got several Chrome OS videos here on this channel. And until recently, if you wanted to use Chrome OS, you needed to buy a piece of hardware. Basically, you go to the store, you buy yourself a Chromebook, Chrome box, uh, and you, it would come with Chrome OS installed on it. And there are some excellent laptops out there and at some very good prices. However, now Google has announced Chrome OS Flex. And this is a free version of Chrome OS that you can install on a PC or on a laptop and it comes from Google. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Now there was already a free version of Chrome OS available for PCs. However, it wasn't an official one. Basically, a company called Neverware took the open source versions of all of the Chrome OS and Chromium, that's the Chrome web browser, and they built a version for PCs. However, at the end of 2020, Google bought Neverware and their Chrome OS kind of product, which was called Cloud Ready. And basically, the page redirected you back to Google. And now Google have used that team to release uh, Chrome OS Flex, which is basically Cloud Ready 2.0. And this time it comes officially from Google. And so what you get if you install Chrome OS Flex on a laptop or a PC is you get Chrome OS just as you would recognize it with Chrome. You can even run Linux programs on it. I'll tell you more about that uh, in a moment. And it looks absolutely and feels absolutely just like a Chrome OS uh, laptop that you would buy. Now, the great thing is it doesn't have very high system requirements. So if you have something a processor, 64-bit processor from Intel or AMD, four gigs of RAM, not much storage, even 16 gigs will do all the cores. I would recommend much more than that. Uh, and basically a graphics card that's been built in the last 10 years. If you've got that in your laptop or in a spare PC, you can bring a whole new lease of life to it by installing Chrome OS Flex on it. Now installing Chrome OS Flex, it really is quite simple. On another PC with Chrome running on it, that could be a Mac, it could be Windows, it could be Linux, as long as you've got Chrome running on it, you install the Chrome recovery extension, and then you start up that extension, which is how uh, kind of, you know, normal Chromebook users would be able to create a USB drive. They did have to rebuild their, their uh, laptop. And what you do is you go into there and then you go through the, the setup process. And when it comes to selecting what model of Chromebook have you got and what make is it, you just pick, I want Chrome OS Flex. I want Chrome OS Flex. And there's only one version in there currently, the, uh, the developer version, which is what we're talking about. And then you basically stick in a USB drive and it will flash Chrome OS Flex onto that USB drive. Once it's done, you'll need to eject it, particularly on Windows, and be careful, there may be like lots and lots of drives might appear, J, K, L, and M. You basically need to go down to the tray in the right-hand corner and make sure you eject that uh, USB stick. Then you need to find yourself your laptop or your PC, plug it in, make sure it can boot from USB, and boot it up. And once it boots up, you will get greeted by an installation screen for Chrome OS. And you've got two choices. You can either install it onto the internal storage, which is what I've done on one of my machines, or you can just run it from a USB hard flash drive, which is what I did on another one of my machines. Both of them work very, very well. Obviously, the USB is going to be a little slower and maybe limited in size, depending on the size of the USB key that you use. In either case, you go through the setup process, which will include being able to connect to Wi-Fi. You can use wired uh, Ethernet. You'll log into your Google Chrome, your Gmail account, your Google account. And basically, it will go through the whole setup. And then once you reboot, there it is up and running Chrome OS. I have a video here on the channel how you can run Linux applications on Chrome OS, and that is available on Chrome OS Flex. So you start up a Linux container, and then I was able just to muck around on the command line there, uh, installing some packages and running things, and it worked absolutely perfectly. So a great way of converting an old piece of hardware to Linux itself, because of course, Chrome OS is built on Linux, friendly interface, because most things are web-based. But then on top of that, you can open up a Linux command line. If you want some kind of Linux development platform, you can do all those things on Chrome OS Flex, and it's free, and the system requirements aren't that high. Okay, that's it. So I really like to hear from you in the comments if you're gonna try Chrome OS Flex. If you did try it, what was your opinion? Also, while you're there in the comments, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like these kind of videos, then hey, why not stick around by subscribing? Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains, and I also have a monthly newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, just the email. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.